Hi guys, welcome to Millennium Biltmore, one of the most haunted places in LA. Let's explore why. It opened its door in 1923 and it was the place to be. When it was built, the Biltmore was the largest and most opulent hotel west of Chicago. Everyone from Al Capone to JF Kennedy has spent the night at the Biltmore. It even hosted Academy Awards from 1935 until the beginning of World War II, when it was repurposed as a facility to serve soldiers. Ever since, people report seeing soldiers move into the lobby believed to be from that era. But those are not the only ghosts. There is a ghost of a female nurse who is commonly seen on the second floor and a ghost of a little girl running around on the ninth floor. Now that you know the story, let's check out my room and look for ghosts. So this is my room and I actually switched it because I was on the third floor and they put me, of course, on the ninth floor where there is a ghost walking around and I didn't even ask for it. <laughs> so I'm on the ninth floor and we already established there's a ghost of a little girl here, but I'm curious about a second floor, floor which was closed due to ghost activity. So let's go check it out. I feel like even the elevator is haunted. So I guess you can't really go to second floor. Let's take the stairs and let's see if we can make it. So this is supposed to be the second floor, but it's completely closed. The most famous ghost is definitely Black Dahlia, often seen walking around the lobby. This is after all the place where she was last seen. But that's not the only thing that happened here. The famous yogi Paramansha Yogananda Plos died after collapsing from the former music room of the hotel, which is now the lobby. Italian artist Giovanni Smeraldi loved the Biltmore so much that he wanted his ashes stored in the fountain in the present day lobby. Even though there are many ghosts, there are also many angels. You just have to look for them. After all, it's LA, city of angels. 